my channel it's me Shabri I'm coming to you guys um, as promised with an updated frontal application video um, pretty much I have the frontal just loose on my head so it's not a hair or anything so right now it may look a little wiggy or draggish um, but I'm gonna go ahead and on camera show you or how I apply my frontal updated version of it. I'm using the got to be glue styling gel in the yellow container this time this is the one that is white so this isn't like the one in the black um, tube where it um, is actually clear in the color this one goes on white kind of dries a little white also this method I am going to try to leave out um, as less baby hairs as possible I just noticed when I leave out more of the baby hairs um, the frontal looks a little messier um, also because I wear makeup when I do wear makeup it builds up a lot on the frontal hairs that I leave out for the baby hair so this is going to be a semi no baby hair frontal application video so we're just going to jump right into it as always the specs on the hair that I have in are listed in my description box I also have an initial review up on this hair this is the Peruvian body wave hair from Ariel hair store on Amazon check my channel out um, if you are interested in the initial review in this video and you are looking to purchase the hair as always those links will be in my description box so first things first you are going to need a few products I am using a rat tail comb um, I do have some duck clips just to sort of pin the hair back or put the hair back um, when I am applying the frontal I have my got to be glue styling gel I also have my got to be glue blasting free spray and then I have some tweezers because I do want to go in and sort of tweeze the hairline even more so I do have a mirror right here to the right of me so if I'm not really looking into the lens that's why I'm looking into the mirror so I can make sure this is on as perfect as possible so I'm gonna jump right into it so one thing I did want to mention I have on a new stocking cap as you can see it stops pretty far back so I am going to have to go in and sort of conceal my part a little bit so I don't know if I'll show that on camera that's pretty simple but I did just want to point that out I know the stocking cap is further back it slips back so that's a learning lesson for me so I'm going to take my duck clips and just clip the hair back also because again I want the hair to be out of the actual application of the frontal I don't want it to get messy so I, that's why I'm going to clip that back Okay, so the neat thing about this frontal, this frontal is actually not from Ariel Hair Store, it's from Hot Beauty Hair. It comes pre-plucked, so that's really good. You don't have to do too much plucking to the frontal. Because I don't want to have as much baby hair out on this um, actual frontal installment, I am going to go in and even tweeze the hairline even more, but it's not recommended because the hairline, if you can tell, it somewhat comes pre-plucked, so that's a good thing. What I'm going to go in with now. And again, I've learned this over time, just different times of applying my frontal. Less is absolutely more. I know like a lot of people say that a lot, but this stuff can get not really messy, but you can tend to use a little bit more than needed. So I'm gonna use as less as possible. Then I make sure. So as you see, like my hairline is right here and the frontal can sit there, but I am gonna apply the gel like just a tad bit below my um, actual hairline so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now see how I'm just applying that strip I'm not really pushing it back onto my hair which I have done before in the past like I'll gel my edges back but that takes a really long time to actually dry and that's what sort of gave me like the cakey look um, as well it looked like a bunch of buildup, so I'm not really going to gel my edges back. Let's start with that. So we're going to work in um, pieces. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back. So it's pretty much as tacky as it. Um, I'm going to allow it to get. As you see, like I was telling you, it's still white. It does dissipate just a little bit in... Um, the color but for the most part it's, it remains white which isn't a problem so what we're going to do from here I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this part down as you see I want to make sure the hair is staying back I don't want any of that hair to get into the place of the gel so I'm just gonna take the lace and sit it right there so I'm just touching like the ends of it or each corner 
Then what I'm going to do is go in with my rat tail comb because I don't want to disturb the um, lace itself. And I'm going to take the rat tail end of the comb and basically press it down also. Well, that's what we have so far as you can see um, this hairline is still um, a little dense or at least for my liking so once everything is on and dry and secure in place I will come back and thin out the hairline some more so I'm just gonna do the rest of my hairline and then yeah I'll be back Okay, so as you can, or I'm not sure if y'all can see, but the lace right here is still up just a little bit. So what I'll do is go to add a little bit of, a little more gel in that area, just a little bit more, and then just reapply the part that wasn't laid down. Okay guys, so the hairline has dried, um, i say it's about 90% dry, um, so I can actually go in and start to work with it a little. This is it right now, as you can see this is how the hairline came with its pre-plucked type of style. Some of the baby hair actually fell down, but it's okay, it's still not a lot where it's just over, overly baby hair like I had last time or when I first did the initial video. So what I'm going to do is to just go in and start to pluck some hair. As you can see, even though like the initial part of the hairline is a little sparse, I do want it to kind of thin it out a little bit more. I want it to look just a little bit more realistic. So I am just going to go in and just start to randomly pluck some pieces. You just want to make sure you have a really sharp tweezer when doing this part of it. So I'm just plucking out random pieces of the hair just to thin it out some. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but as you can see, I'm sort of going behind the part that's already pre-plucked. So I'm not plucking from the initial hairline, but I'm going sort of behind it and just pulling out random pieces of hair. And to this point, you are going to want to sort of comb out those pieces that you pulled out so it won't get tangled up. This is how much has come out. So not too much. And you're just going to keep doing that until it's as thin as possible. Even now, you can sort of see a little bit of the difference, but I'm just going to go in and just continue to pluck random pieces. So the only difference really with this step than like if you would like how I did it before is that I'm using less gel and then also I'm sort of doing my customization when the frontal is on my head. Um, you can do some customization before you put the frontal on. Um, so if you don't have a pre-plucked frontal you can squeeze it out um, as you see fit and then once you put it on and see exactly where you feel like you should thin it out some more that's when you can go in and start thinning it out more. This just allows for it to be even more customized. Okay guys, so this is what I 
this is where I'm gonna stop. I'm pretty much comfortable with this. It doesn't look over plucked, but it still looks plucked. And you can sort of tell that the hairline has been customized. One thing that I wanted to show you all to fit sort of like the whiteness from the gel, if you use the um, one in the yellow tube, it's just take some of that got to be free spray or any type of um, hairspray and just spray a little bit on the area. Just a little bit, you don't wanna to spray too much. So ladies, this is the finished look of the frontal, just thinned out even more so it's not as dense on the hairline, just so it can look more natural. Um, I pretty want I pretty much won't do any more tweezing because I don't want to over tweeze and here it is just right for or at least for what I like so I am gonna stop here on the frontal tweezing let me know um, below if you like this method that I do um, and if you use like a different type of method than what I use to get this let me know in my comment section below I definitely like to um, try out whatever methods you all use um, especially if it's just going to help my frontal look even more natural and realistic um so yeah that's pretty much it for this video remember thumbs up like the video if you do like these type of videos and then until my next video i'll see you all later bye